This playthrough is rated E10+. Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oogie's Revenge. We're not quite done yet. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back Welcome here with back. Uh, some... Well, thank you, Jack. With some bonus content for uh, Tim Burton's uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. So let's put up a file. After we beat the game, we unlocked uh, the uh, uh, all the stuff. So what happens is the intro starts again, and we basically play the game all over from scratch. However, now we can go just straight into the chapter select mode. So what I want to show off is, well, one, you can play all the chapters all over again if you want to. However, I want to show off the special mission that I didn't get a chance to take care of the first time I played. So let's do that in chapter seven. Two, I also want to show off um, the, uh, I also want to show off the extra content that you can for doing this as well. So one, when you start chapter seven, we actually want to head back to, um, Sally in the graveyard after this. So instead of, you know, how we gave Igor the biscuits, we were supposed to go inside and deal with the doctor, uh, or at least get towards dealing with the doctor. And then we deal with shock or whatever. We actually want to head back and go talk to Sally to do that mission. Also, we want to go to Jack's house as well, because uh, there's some si there's some stuff I can show uh, via button combinations over the course of the game, uh, and show off all the figurines and stuff like that too. So let's head off to Jack's house and see what we can find. All right, Jack's house, just be over here, just heading all the way over here. So all right. I think you, for most of these codes, I think you have to be in Jack's house to unlock most of this stuff, so. You might be able to do it in the interim between chapters, too, by the way. Okay, so this game's got quite a few codes that, that are input into the game, which makes the game obviously super easy. I could have input to make the game easier, but I didn't want to mess with the time. Oh, yeah, Hyde's hanging out here, too. When Oogie's monsters approach, don't say it okay. or risk you it. Well, anyway, so, okay, so during gameplay, we have to hit every, all the stuff must be done through the cross pad, so not the analog stick. So if you want energy to never drop over the course of a level, this will change if, I believe if you save it, um, or reload a save, you have to input this code again. But if you press right, left, L3, R3, left, right, R3, L3, that'll get you energy that'll never drop to zero. All right, for full health restore during gameplay, you need to press... R3, L3, R3, up. Come on. See, that healed it. I think, uh, uh, all right. We could also give the Pumpkin King unlimited power if we do this one. So if you do uh, left, down, right, up, right, down, left, up. And that gives them infinite. Um, was, 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 I might have input it wrong, but that's how you're supposed to do it. So uh, let me try it again. So left, down, right, up, right, down, left, up. Okay, that should do it. There it is. Okay. I just had to be faster. So yeah, see, now it's an infinite symbol. So let me do that other one. Energy will never drop. Let me do that faster this time. All right, left, L3, R3, left, right. Okay, yeah, if you hear that that click or whatever it is, that means I did it right. All right, now this one, if you have trouble with the musical battles and want to play automatically, uh, do this one. So left, up, right, down, left, R3, L3. So that way the musical battles will automatically hit every single note without any problems. So if you want to hear the whole song without having to worry about it, you press in that code. All right, so for Jack, uh, unlimited Jack presence, which means you can just keep pressing square and keep throwing at presence uh, without a limit. Also, if you, you can also change your, uh, um, what type of presence you use by the triangle button. But anyway, so if you want unlimited Jack presence, you press down, left, right, up, L3, R3. So that gives us unlimited Merry presence. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Maybe it's one of the other ones. Well, anyway, it's supposed to give us unlimited presence. So, okay. Anyway, to unlock all the levels, if you're playing a new game from the very beginning, uh, you need to, uh, at the and this has to be at the new, new game load screen. So this is when you first start the game. If you press L1, L2, L1, L2, L3, R1, R2, R1, R2, R3. On the main menu, it will give you all the levels right off the bat, so you can choose whatever level. This is in a new game. Uh, okay. 
if you want to lock pumpkin pumpkin jack and santa jack without playing playing the game to those points you can press down up right left r l3 r3 and that'll give you those two outfits right off the bat i already have them but that's the code you need to do that uh to get all the statue collection you have to be in jack's house for this one specifically if you press up up r3 up that'll lock all your uh let's see which one's the uh, Where's all the... There it is. Okay, let's view the figures. Okay, so these are all the figures in the game. So in all the figures, I have just like a little thing where you can move them around, rotate them, stuff like that. Pretty cool. You can set to default. So we got Zero, Pumpkin King, Santa Jack, Jack Skeleton. And these are all... You can get all these from getting A ranks and everything in a level. So A in damage, A in count a and time and so forth and that'll unlock a statue per thing there's also a few statues that you get via going to hidden places and beating the enemies there anyway sally's santa claus clown mayor dr finkelstein igor red elf green elf green yeah i guess that's a dull, a dull green but i guess it's a green nonetheless anyway corpse kid we also got blue skeleton heat skeleton King Skeleton, Troll Skeleton, Halloween Ghost, King Ghost, Orc Skeleton, that's an orc, alright, whatever, uh, Blue Skeleton, Red Skeleton, King Skeleton, Troll Skeleton, and these are the Oogie versions of them, which you have to use uh, 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 Santa Presents to uh, get them back to normal. Otherwise, they're more powerful, have more HP, stuff like that. Troll Skeleton, Halloween Ghost, King Ghost, Orc Skeleton. So we also got a trick, uh, see treat, D different versions of treat, different versions of trick. Got shadow oogie, oogie, fire king, ice king, mega oogie, roulette oogie, baby spiders, super spider, barrel, lock, yeah, shock and, lock, shock and barrel aren't even at the end of the game either. They kind of just disappear from the story after throwing uh, uh, Jack into oogie's like uh, secret, secret stash place or whatever. Oh well. Anyway, Hagi Tree, three Mr. Hides, Vampire Brothers, one, two, three, four, uh, Tall Witch, Short Witch, and Behemoth. So, all right. So to unlock all of Jack's outfits for the game, which allows him to just, all the outfits do is just other than Pumpkin Jack and uh, Santa Jack, is all it does is it, uh, it just makes them look different. That's all it is. Oh yeah, Zero hangs around your house too, by the way. All right, anyway, for the, uh, unlock all the outfits for Jack, press up, down, left, right. Come on. Uh, oops, sorry, messed up. Up, down, left, right. Uh, R3, L3. And now I'll unlock all the outfits. And then if you want to lock the soul, I uh, want to upgrade the soul robber without actually buying the upgrade, uh, press up, right, left, down, R3, L3. And that will get your soul robber will upgrade automatically. I've already upgraded it, but uh, also this shows us all the films of the game. Here's the outfit. So normal Jack. Let's look at Pajama Jack. Pajama Jack, you have to get all at least C's or more in uh, the overall ranks in the game. So this one should be. You should get this one pretty easily. Uh, Dancing Jack is if you get B's and everything. Uh, or I let me double. Actually, let me double check that again. So uh, see, Pajama Jack uh, is PJ Jack. Beat the game once with an overall C or higher ranking. Okay, and then Dancing Jack is beat the game with an overall ranking of B or higher. And all these, these are just different outfits. That's all it is. Nothing, nothing different about Jack other than he just looks different. That's it. So, if you want to play the game with a different looking Jack, there you go. Alright. Uh, Thespian Jack is you have to get rank and A and everything. So... Ta-da! I am an actor! And then finally, Phantom Jack is if get, you have to get S rank on all levels and do both of the secret chapters in the game, which we're about to do, by the way. And there you go. <laughs> he just looks like Phantom of the Opera. Well, it makes sense. This is a musical, so. All right, let's go and do the secret chapter, and we'll call it a... And uh, that'll be the episode, because that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, you can actually, basically, instead of having to work towards unlocking the outfits, you can just put in the code, and that'll get it for you. So, kind of funny when you think about it. But, uh, but hey, like I said, this game was more just... Remember back in the day when games used to have codes inside the game by doing button combinations? 
nowadays you have to pay for pay to get something like that or you have to like know how to hack a game through like unconventional means it's kind of a pain in the butt to hack games these days without like the with i'd rather games have hacks inside a game just for fun you know like big head mode and stuff like that kind of like in ratchet and clank when i showed that off but yeah, i kind of wish the outfits did something like you got a little bonus out of them but oh well not a big deal it's just cool running around with different outfits for Jack. I mean, obviously the classic, Jack's classic outfit is obviously where to go, but let's see what Sally has to say now that she said to come back after, uh, before going into his house. So let's see what she has to say now. Yeah, secret chapter, Deadly Nightshade. Yeah, I could have done this before. I just, I basically just forgot. That's pretty much my, that's my only excuse. For this. Jack, you remember to come back to me. Yep, I won't forget about you, baby. Well, what you said earlier kind of had me concerned. It's about the doctor. If if he tries to harm you, Jack, use the sleeping soup to knock him out. All the ingredients should be around here. If you bring them to me, I'll make the soup. Here, I'll make a list of the ingredients and put it in your sack for you to check later. Yeah, this is supposed to make the doctor fight a little bit easier, except the fight's already pretty easy already, so. Thank you, Sally. I don't know what I'd do without you. And obviously it's a reference to the movie when she puts out the doctor with deadly nightshade. Normally it'd kill you, but you know, in this world it just knocks you out. So to make the soup you'll need deadly nightshade, frog's breath, and worm's wort. Deadly nightshade grows next to the grave marked deadly nightshade. There are lots of similar looking herbs, so be careful. For frog's breath, first you need a frog. The doctor breeds them at the junkyard, so there, uh, so try there. As for worms for it, you can buy it at the shop. So, okay. All right, let's go uh, get the worms for it. The worms for it's over, over here, by the way, I'll show you. It's where we find the spiral hill gate key. Uh, oh, Robert. Yeah, so, oh, well, all right. I thought I was close enough for that, but I guess not. Yeah, just gotta run all the way over here. All right, there's the deadly nightshade. You can see it right there, as you can, as you can tell. So let's beat up these guys. Luckily, these guys are pretty easy at this point. Actually, no, I could just do pumpkin jack and just fricassee them all. There you go. Yeah, see, pumpkin jack, if you actually have the red souls, he's actually really powerful. It's just. Obviously, the challenge is, is obviously, uh, um, you know, having enough souls, but if you use the cheat, obviously, you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Anyway, there's the Deadly Nightshade. A versatile plant that seals the hick, uh, seals the hick, seals, heals the sick or poisons quick. All right. All right, let's go, uh. All right, let's go to the witch's place next because that's technically closer so yeah you're probably wondering why i never utilized pumpkin jack before it's because well one it costs a lot to do i probably could just spent since i never had enough money to buy the last golden pumpkin i should just use it to buy a bunch of red soul to make the last areas easier but the reason is obviously if you're trying to get s rank you're trying to not kill enemies quicker so you can take advantage of combos and stuff like that so yeah, oh, no. yeah see i'm not losing any health because i use that i use that ability Because uh, I, I use that code or whatever, I'm not using, losing any powers. I should show off a mission that has the that does the music code for the purposes of showing off that that. But uh, trust me, it works. Because you heard the it click every time I did something. So yeah, it is a lost art of. I mean, there's still indie games that kind of do do the codes in, inside the game via 
button combinations or finding it or whatever, but is in mainstream games, like, like what this, I mean, technically, despite this being a, obviously not a huge title, it was still technically a major title because it was on the PS2 made by a uh, big company. So you could call it maybe not a triple A game, but like a double A title or something like that. So, but a lot of double A titles don't do that anymore. It's just, you know, they want to make you uh, pay tooth and nail for every little cent, you know. No more, no longer is it the fun of the game and playing the game. It's all about, you know, the, the all, almighty dollar. Oh, well, sorry. This, this game should not be about me complaining about that type of stuff. So sometimes a when you get old, you start complaining more about stuff when you're in your age. The best bargain in town. Oh yeah, I guess I don't have the enough for that. <laughs> Take that witch. Huh? Wormswort? Why, of course we have that. We also have mice teeth, duck feet, and dried dog ears, all collected this morning. But I guess you wouldn't be interested in them. Yep, I don't want You'll that. You'll always be our hero, Jack. All right, worms were, yeah, it's a cost of thousand souls. I guarantee this will take all that screaming to the next level. <laughs> yeah, it's not even unique You're dialogue. Always welcome. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, yeah, if you don't have a thousand, you'll have to go to the pumpkin patch at this point and, and grind for... Uh, for it <clears throat> but anyway with buying all this stuff we also get the pumpkin shield ability uh this gracious gift temporarily shields jack from all from attacks the reason i got this is you get this from buying i believe buying everything from the witch's shop that's the uh that's the skills and abilities which is this section here so as long as you buy everything from her you unlock that ability for uh santa jack so not, not that's really needed, even on the harder difficulties. But yeah, let's keep acting like the Phantom of the Opera over here. You probably think I look like Dracula, but no, he's called the Phantom because he's supposed, to, because of the whole singing melody and all this other stuff. He's the Phantom of the Opera. It's been forever since I watched the Phantom of the Opera. Uh, from what I remember, it was a pretty good, pretty good play. Uh, but. I've watched a lot of opera. I'll tell you, a lot of operas. I've only watched like maybe a handful of plays in my day. Really, it's just a cost thing and time thing. Not that I don't like them, you know, but it's just going out of my way to go to those things and everything. So, oh well. And yeah, I'll have to redo these again because, uh, yeah, remember this whole area? You probably wonder what this whole room, this whole section was about because there wasn't anything we could do there. Well, unless you go on the side quest, there's nothing. There's no. Uh, there's no reason to go in here. So. Probably could just avoid. Well, yeah, just, just use, uh, I'm just gonna use Pumpkin Jack's, uh, ability. Get rid of all these guys. Do it a couple times each. Huh. <laughs> I don't know, just something fun about just, like, it's, uh, almost instant killing these guys. Got a decent range, too. Really? <laughs> anyway. And yeah, I was right that you had to use Pumpkin Jack to light all these torches, but for some reason I couldn't, I couldn't hit them all at the same time or whatever. Or it wouldn't let me at the time, I'm not sure, but yeah. But yeah, we're trying to get the, uh, uh, frog's breath. That has to be the frog, I need to sneak up to it. Alright, so, um... Uh, Yeah, the way you can't really sneak by because if you step in the the like liquid or whatever, you make noise. So yeah, see, I'm going too fast. Get back here, frog. Uh, apparently, I'm not doing a very good job on this. I'll probably have to leave and come back since I messed that up, so. Alright, let's try that again. We're looking for a very specific frog. It's, uh... 
Oh, okay. Well, anyway, let me relieve and come back really quick. So, yeah, sorry for messing that up. Actually, maybe he's back now. Basically, we're looking for a frog that has green breath. So what you need to do is smack it. Uh, okay. There's one over there. I think I saw it. Oh, come on. I hit it. Try to... Oh, come on. Because uh, if you see one that has a green, uh, green little breath mark or whatever, that's your indication to grab the thing. So, this one's just annoying just because of the. I wonder if I have to maybe let me try leaving again. See if that'll work. Just leaving the general area. The only problem is running will cause them to, uh... Oh, actually, don't I... I'm trying to remember, wasn't there... Wasn't there a button to, like, default? Eh, let me see real quick. Uh... No, I, I must be thinking of a different game. Never mind. There was a game where you could change between walking and running speeds, but this game doesn't have it, so... I have to see one with a green breath, though. Can't really tell. I don't think any of these guys have the green breath. Yeah, see, no green breaths coming out of that guy's mouth. Yeah, see, that's not... Nope. Yeah, I see. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I can't see the green breath one just because of the, uh... Okay, seriously, get over here. Nope, not that one. Ah, this, this is actually kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, this is probably one of the most annoying things to do in the game overall is getting this frog. I don't want to reset the area because then I have to fight those creatures again, but... Yeah, yeah, see that green frog spitting out? Spitting out, uh... Yeah, I'm trying not to, uh... Oh, I didn't run. Uh, I think it was that one. No! Dang it! Stupid frog. It got away. I think the one I grabbed while I jumped in, into the thing. Yeah, what you're supposed to do is smack smack them so they don't... So they'll... It'll be easier to capture them, you know? Uh, <laughs> this is actually kind of annoying. It really is. Alright, let me do it again. It's... I think it's because my analog stick is too sensitive because like I feel like I'm barely tapping it and then all of a sudden I started running you know what I mean so there's not like a uh... yeah I kind of wish there was a button for uh... yeah unfortunately there's really not a button to uh, slow down I wonder if I could do this Are you ready? no I never had to use the uh, power up ability Oh, there it is. Over there. Let's see. Was it that one? They were all close together. I couldn't tell. Now I have to wait and see which one does the whole. Yeah, I got too. I think it's just a case if they if I get too close in. To oh come on, man! They're not gonna do the. I couldn't see it. That's the problem. I guess I'll just have to pay attention. See, okay, there's one over there. Ah, that's so frustrating because of the targeting and everything like that. Ah, oh, this is so stupid. 
<laughs> I actually don't like this. Uh, I don't like the side quest at all. Like, it is really frustrating. See? Like, even though I run over there, by the time I get there, they've already jumped into the water. You know? And it really, it seems like it's more of a case of... Um... Uh, I might just cut to when I grab the thing, because this might take me a, a hot minute to do, so. Uh, yeah, I'll be back when I actually capture the thing, or at least a successful run of it, so. Finally got it, jeez. That took a while. Uh, breath capture from a frog, useful for certain stews. That one was, like, just super frustrating. Like, it's not even, it's not well done. It's not well done, um, mini game, to tell you the truth. Okay, it's not that frustrating, it's just annoying. Especially if you're trying to do the mission and trying to, uh, get an S rank on a level. Actually, you probably don't even want to do this for this. rank. Uh, if you're trying to S rank a level, you probably don't even want to do this in the first place. So, oh well. Anyway, it took me like a couple of minutes to finally get get the frog there. I just kind of had to just charge on in and just throw frogs into each other just to get them to work. So, but yeah, we've got all three items. So let's head to uh, uh, let's head to Sally to get the soup. And yeah, basically what it is is the soup you use it as I am in battle, and it will put Doctor Finkelstein to sleep. So the so the his invention won't be running around and doing stuff he will be activating it for a short period of time so you can capture a brain or a piece of his brain and throw it into his skull while he's asleep basically so yeah it basically makes the whole fight a little bit uh, r ridiculous i mean the fight itself is actually already really easy it's just it gets it's easier with the sleeping soup almost makes it a, a cakewalk and of course, if you got the musical notes already, or the musical notes automatically work thing, then anytime you do a song sequence, you'll automatically hit, ma you'll do the max hit or whatever, so you don't have to worry about pressing buttons. During that's for those who have maybe slower hand-eye coordination than, than uh, you know, kind of like myself at this age. So, is this everything you need? Yes, Jack. I knew you could do it. Finished. Once the doctor takes a sip of this soup, he'll be out like a light. Thanks, Sally. I'll try to save the doctor without hurting a hair on his head. If he had any. Uh, sleeping soup that Sally makes for Dr. Finkelstein. All right, and for doing the secret chapter Deadly Night Sage, we get uh, two thousand uh, souls, and you can um, you can use on the Doctor during the boss fight to make it a lot easier. So, all right, well that's it for Tim Burton's The Nightmare for Christmas: Oogie's Revenge HD version. Uh, check out the HD patch from the guy linked into the video description there. Uh, give him a, a dollar or two if you uh, have it, if you actually use it. Just a you know, hey. You know, it takes time to do all that type of stuff. And you can actually do it yourself if you're if you have the inclination or time. You can actually add your own texture patches to old old games you want to because these new emulators now let you do it pretty easily. But overall, like I said, fun game, like the music. Wish they had a few original songs added into it. Um, than just changing up the lyrics a bit. But hey, as long as they had the rights to it and Danny Elfman was okay with it and everything with that, I'm fine with it too. But yeah, just a fun little game to play for the holiday season and something to enjoy. Uh, throw on. Maybe next year I'll try maybe like the GBA version or something like that. Or do a bonus episode of that sometime down the line. But I guess that's it for the game. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next game.